Um, and with the with the rear pose, um, a, l a lot of the time we'll see athletes tucking their pelvis under. Now it's great for that pose to show condition, which is obviously what we're being judged on. But what we don't want to lose is the thickness of the hamstrings and the shape of the glutes as well. So just swing around to the rear and don't worry about the upper, but let's just showcase those two different, you can really see the difference. So do, um, do with the, the glutes tipped. Now here, obviously when the glutes are fully conditioned, you get striated glutes here, but what we've completely lost is the thickness through the inside thighs here. So we wanna make sure we keep the connection. So just switch to the other variation. Now here, we get thickness through hamstrings and adductors. We get the glutes and the points of the glutes coming down. So we still see the condition. And then we also get the detail of the back of the hamstrings here as well. For me, this is far more impressive. If you do want to tuck under and show the, um, the condition of the hamstrings and the glutes, then um, I would recommend doing both variations. You tuck them? No, I would go thickness first and then tuck. Yeah. Um, so yeah, but that's a common mistake that I see with a lot of bodybuilders. They want to tuck because they really want to feel the grit of the pose, where actually what it is, it's detrimental to showcasing the development and the thickness of the legs, which is crucial to showcase balance.